The Reach Out campaign has uh, existed for about five or six years. It was started really as a response to what we found when we went round to meet many of the people in Deanries. And there was a great interest in uh, the question of young people, how we were reaching out to them, people who were new into the diocese. We had a lot of people, migrants from abroad, but also in, within the country. And also how we were reaching out to people who don't regularly go to the Eucharist or attend Mass. So in the last couple of years, we've had various attempts how to reach out to those particular groups. Some have been more successful than others, but it has been very much part of the diocese. And I think it's become part of the whole folklore of the diocese, reach out as being paramount with what we're trying to do. Christmas obviously is a time when people get very interested in religion. People come to church a lot at Christmas time. People obviously feel that they'd like to do something special at Christmas. And we felt that this was very much part of it. So we thought of the idea of candles initially. And these were distributed on about the second Sunday of the month of uh, Advent. And the idea was not only to give them to people who actually came to Mass, but that those people who came would take one for themselves and take one and give it out. And that was the part that they had the share in Reach Out. So Reach Out wasn't just the clergy, if you like. It was very much trying to get more and more people to uh, reach out and be part of this good news of Jesus Christ. And after all, it was very much what uh, John Paul was at in his life, and Benedict has taken up the theme very much in his ministry as well. So the idea was that they took a candle and then they took a second candle and gave it out to somebody. So the last year, I think we had probably the most popular one, we had a crib. And we get, people took a crib, gave it out, and we asked the people to give it to somebody and, and or to use it themselves. And on Christmas Day to take it out and say a special prayer at Christmas. So we provided a crib, we provided a prayer card that they could use as well. So this year we went one step further, if you like. We got and we thought that the link very much with the Holy Land. This was inspired by the emphasis that the papacy has on the care that we all have and should have to the places that where Christmas really started and where it originated. The leaders of the church here in Ireland went out there last year. Cardinal Brady spoke about the need for our interest in. So what we did this year was that we had a group who went out uh, and they visited Bethlehem. And in Bethlehem, they decided to get with our peace and justice group, they collected things which were made in Bethlehem, olives, uh, olive wood. And the idea this year is that we have little things which they can put on their Christmas tree, uh, emphasizing very much the essence of what Christmas is about. After all, it's about the birth of Jesus Christ. Christ's birth took place in Bethlehem, and we link it very much with that. The other aspect of it we want to try to get across to people is that this way in which reaching out should be a light of Christ in their lives. And this something shouldn't be just for Christmas. So as well as giving uh, to individual families, we're asking each parish to take a light. And on it, we'll have the word peace mentioned in 10 different languages. And the idea is that that will exist in each church, not only each parish, but each church. And the idea, of course, is the peace of Christ. We pray the peace of Christ will exist in the life of each individual person, in their families, with their friends, but also the peace of Christ, particularly in the Holy Land itself. The, the Reach Out campaign, I think, has been one of the most positive initiatives that we've taken. When we took a little bit of a survey last year, it was uh, approved of by 85% of the response. And I suppose we were very pleased with that. But it is something that I think has touched people. We've got more letters about it, uh, more congratulations about it, than anything else that we have tried in the diocese. I think it also uh, brings in people to be involved in reaching out as well. And I think the other aspect of it is something that relates to everybody, that uh, especially Christmas time, prayer time, the birth of Christ. And I think people are trying to put, if you like, Christ into Christmas and make Christ part of Christmas. Uh, maybe than we have done for a while. I think this year we seem to have found a great interest in it because it brings very much with Bethlehem. I think also it brings the question in which we uh, must bring part of Christmas as well into the idea of peace and justice. And the candle that was part of it, but even more will be this lamp, which will be the light of Christ. And that will light in parishes for the next year or so with the word peace on it. And we are trying to... In 
in, uh, encourage that peace and justice. It wouldn't be just a short time at Christmas, but something that would last during the year. So there is a, a lot of information for any person who would be interested by following it up, by looking at our website, the diocesan website, www.candle.ie, and it's candle, K-A-N-D-L-E dot I-E.